welcome back to my channel now in this video we will start this is part second of ncrt class 6 science chapter first food where does it come from so in part first we understand what is ingredients we read what is ingredients and how our um, some uh, how food come from okay first is plant okay now this is our second this is our second part and in this part in this video we will do our chapter third and chapter four now in chapter third what is there that let's uh, read this uh, uh, let's read this that what do we conclude from activity three plants are the sources of food so the important thing i am highlighting it by underlining it that plants are the source of food uh, ingredients like grain like grain cereals that plants are the sources of food ingredients like grain cereals vegetable and fruits animal provide us with milk with us with milk meat products and eggs okay now there are two sources of plants two sources so the sources are plants and animal okay that there are two sources of two sources plants and animal cow goat and buffalo are some common animal which give us milk we obviously know that milk and milk product like butter cream cheese and curd are used all over the world can you name some other animal which give us milk yeah we can say that here cow goat and buffalo are mentioned mm, camel Camel also give milk. Okay, some of the animal camel or elephant that uh, give milk. Also. Okay, now here plants part and animal product as food. Now which part of plants we will eat? Uh, which uh, part? Plant are one source of our food. Yeah, this is one source of our food. Mm, we will highlight this that. Plants are one source of our food. Okay, that plant are one source of our food. Which uh, which part of a plant are these? So some of them are root. Some of them are flower. Some of them are stem. Okay, we will uh, study here that which part of plants uh, we have to eat or we didn't have to eat we eat many leafy vegetable yes we eat spinach we eat uh, green leafy vegetable like lettuce and cauliflower we eat fruits of some plants yeah we eat fruit of some plants like cabbage cauliflower bitter gourd yeah sometimes root sometimes steam and even flower yes we eat and so this is very important that we eat many leaf vegetables we eat fruits of some plants sometimes roots sometimes stem and even flower have you ever eaten pumpkin flower dipped in rice paste and fried right yeah we have eaten it let's make it pakora like that we can also dip it into the okay forget this yeah we have eaten yes our answer is yes if you haven't eaten if you have eaten please uh, write down in comment box yes if not so no some plant have two or more edible parts yes some have like we have pumpkin take example of pumpkin here that uh, pumpkin part i'm not writing the whole pumpkin spelling i'm only writing p so this is a main source we eat their leaf we eat their flower f i'm writing f and we eat also their fruit 
as a pumpkin yes so we have a uh, now seeds of mustard plant yes mustard plant uh, we eat mustard plant leaf we eat we eat the seeds of that we have oil of that okay and leaves used as yeah i have done can you think of different parts of banana different part of banana plant okay different part of banana plant that are used as food yes we have here um, uh, uh, the leaf the banana leaf we eat on that and the um, uh, um, banana rotten banana we eat as a fruit and uh, kachcha banana we eat as a vegetable think of more example were many parts of a single plant has are used as food so i am giving a little bit homework to you this is your homework write down in the comment section i will check it out now we have uh, fourth page number <laughs> don't try do not try to test unknown plant around you to see if they are edible some plant could be poisonous yeah some plant could be poisonous this is uh, our important thing to you child because you child just eat have anything around you just you uh, pluck that and you uh, started biting them but this is not good kids you have to improve your habits take some dry seeds of moong or chana put a small quantity of seeds in a container fill with water and leave this aside for a day next day drain the water completely and leave the seeds in the vessel wrap them with a piece of wet cloth and set aside the following day you will observe uh, any changes in the seed yeah we will observe that the seeds um, sprouts come spread get sprouted seeds get sprouted and uh, then they sprout come along them so this is important part that a small a small white structure may have grown out of the seed if so the seeds have sprouted like like this in the picture after uh, firstly the seed is like then then it converted into this how like let's see if this is a grain wheat seeds if you will dig into the ground as like this upside down okay i will draw it again if the seed is this okay you dig this into the ground after some time we will put water sunlight will come and then the seed have roots and then the leaf comes on the sprouts here you can see the you can see the sprouts here this is our sprouts okay now do you know where honey come from or no it produce have you see a beehive where so many bees kept buzzing about we collect nectar from flower converted into honey and store now this is something a structure flower structure okay i will tell you how so 
this is flower yes <sighs> suppose this is pumpkin flower we eat that pumpkin flower but we eat also but leaf yeah and root what is the main kind uh, what is the main source of root root absorb uh, water and nitrogen from the soil and sunlight uh, uh, who absorb sunlight and air the you will read in class 7th but uh, a chlorophyll um, a substance a green pigment that present in the leaf that's why the leaf color is green so the leaf is the food factory of a plant now hope you all understand this chapter question um, page number three and four don't forget to watch our part third in part third we will study our chapter fair and chap page number fifth and sixth then we will also do our exercise part don't forget to like, share and subscribe to your friends. Bye-bye. Take care. Be safe. Stay healthy.